It was inevitable she had to go, and she gave the resignation statement that should have been given a week and a half ago. So I don't think it was any surprise to anyone that she's gone. She's accepted responsibility for what went on on her watch at last, and I think that's the right thing to do. But unfortunately for Mrs Brooks, she still has to be held to account for what she did. And I'm glad she's still coming to the committee on Tuesday. She has some questions to answer. And, but I do think her departure will now move the focus on to Mr James Murdoch and what he knew about authorising payments to buy the silence of hacking victims. Is there a danger this becomes an unseemly feeding frenzy and the sharks, having scented blood in the water, keep going after bigger and bigger victims? Uh, th there is a cover-up going on at News International that needs exposing. And until we get to the truth, I'm afraid political and legal pressure will be applied on the company. It's not a feeding frenzy. Terrible things happened over a long period of time in that company, and they tried to cover it up, and now they can't escape, and they must be held to account.